Look at this. What's happening? Um, we're moving. Um, Why? I just don't think it's safe. So we. Oh really? Yeah, we've stopped in Loughborough. He's head of security for a particular reason. And he shouted across at me and he said, "Get out of here." Hi, we're Jackie and Michael, and we're exploring the rivers and canals of Britain on our 57-foot narrowboat board Arriva. We'll show you what it's like to live day to day on a narrowboat, and we'll arrive in some beautiful places next to the water. We go and explore the areas we've moored at for the night, and we'll take you with us. Look at that! Look at all of that! All that debris that's come down from the river. So this bit here is where the canal section, which is there to the left, actually rejoins with the river. So you can see the flow's a lot faster in the river section. That looks like it's the end of the road. We're not going to get round there, are we? Unless you want to swim. Hmm, okay. We could, we could go for it. Yeah, look. You see the speed of the water here still. Yeah, you can, yeah. It's really fast. Yeah, so the river now is going down there and you can see, you can see the weir there taking the water away again. But you can see how flooded over here is, all the wetlands there. So this is the next lock which clearly we didn't make it to. Look at this! How dramatic is that? Gosh! And that's the river on its path. We don't want to get onto that, do we? The lock is about, the next lock, the lock, there was a lock in front of us, the next lock is just here. So this is the, uh, the flood relief for the, well this is where the river goes obviously. Yeah, but, and the canal's yeah. in front of us. You can see the amount of water that's still around. Scary! I've got a sneaky feeling you're stuck. Grab onto the bush. We're definitely not going any further than this, that's it. Grab onto the bush. Give it away. Is it? Huh, okay. Morning. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? Hey. Hello. Oh. <laughs> We've woken up to um, still similar flood levels. You can hear you can hear the water over there absolutely rushing down the weir still. It has gone down ever so slightly, but it's still really quite high. Um, flood map um, for the local area, both above where we are and downstream, so upstream and downstream. There's still quite a lot of flooding around. We think that it's going to take a good a number of days or a week to subside so we're sort of stuck really um, and obviously as you know we have um, limited resources from a water perspective we're not near a water point here we've been speaking to some friends and we think we might just go and have a couple of days with them Michael's gone to get the car because we obviously left it about a week ago now so he's um, he's doing his uh, walk bus train bus walk journey you know it's boat life yeah Meanwhile, I've got some very, very relaxed geese just bobbing around. We've even got some cows venturing out towards the lock. You wouldn't see that if boaters were around. So I've just heard from Michael, oh, what a nightmare he's having. So, so this is proving to be a tricky day. I got to the bus stop and um, stood there for 20 minutes. Nobody in the village, tiny little village. The time came for the bus, 20 to the hour. No bus. Quarter to, no bus. Ten to, no bus. Eventually somebody walked past the bus stop. Hello, are you local? Yes. 
can you tell me does the bus uh, still come through here no it stopped six weeks ago not enough people got on it so they stopped the service deep joy so so I've just rung Jack she's back at the boat and she's directed me about a mile and a half away there's another stop I'm gonna make my way to that one and see if I get better luck with that one that's the Loughborough to Leicester bus so hopefully that one's still working there's enough people getting on that one and um, I'll traipse my way up there now such are the vagaries of um, yeah car life and I know we posted before saying should we sell we decided not to because um, we found that there was more value in using the car but on days like this it usually goes all right but on days like this you do you do wonder this but. is this is one of the perils of going to collect the car as you've seen before if you look back to our earlier one of our earlier videos when we were in Newbury he was gone for ages and um, yeah such is life so Leicester city centre now on my way to the train station just thought I'd have a wander and have a look at the weir see what it looks like this morning um, I've just heard from Michael and he's on the train now got there down to the train hopefully that's still quite that's still quite fierce that I'm really surprised the sun's come out now but yeah that's still quite fierce really surprising yeah, it's amazing how long um, high low water levels um, take to go down and I think what's interesting is you forget that the amount of debris that is going to be pushed downstream so you're probably going to find that a lot of the locks they've got big branches or loads and loads of plastic stuck in them which makes it very tricky to operate and sometimes you'll end up not being able to open a lock gate properly so I've just been looking at the flood alert situation here um, which is a live flood alert on gov.co.uk in the UK. We are just here, literally where my little arrow is. And we've come from Leicester and we're coming downstream here. And to just behind us is this flood alert here for the River Reek. And we're going to need to go through the um, this section here which is the uh, flood alert for the lower saw river and that takes us all the way from where we are here near Mount Sorrel all the way through to the river and the Trenton and Mersey Canal which is why, where we're trying to get to. Yes yeah, so I'm just going to phone CRT and let them know that we are where we are and um, that we'll like to be here for a good few days, um, maybe up to a week until the, um, until the waters subside and we get a different notification on the um, flood map that I was showing you um, to say that it's, uh, it's clear to go. Um, so I made it, I'm back to the car. So on my way back to Jack now, yeah, about half an hour I think, so excellent, all good. I've just heard back from Michael and he's, um, he's almost with us, so I'm just gonna have a stroll to the car and meet him and successful trip at least we've got the car now so we're just walking back to the boat we've been away to see friends for a few days um, after getting flooded out we couldn't go anywhere we was we had to stop because of the floods so we thought we'd take the time to go and call and see some friends so we're just walking back to the boat now um, it's been here for a few days on its own in the middle of nowhere so Hopefully everything's all right, but uh, yeah, long drive this morning, but we're here now. At least the weather's changed. Yeah, it's nice now. And the flood alerts have stopped. So um, we noticed that it was red boarded when we were here before, which means we couldn't go anywhere. It was dangerous to do so. Now that's been taken off. Oh, and I've had a haircut as well. Oh, you have, yeah. You might notice. Happy haircut. <laughs> um, Jack says I look like Tintin. And please comment down below if you think he does. It's a joke there, but I won't do it. It's inappropriate. <laughs> so there's the boat. At least it's there. I had a momentary panic. It wasn't where we left it. And there's another one being joined by somebody else a bit further up. Oh, yeah. Wow, it looks different to when we left it. That little thing there, that piece of wood, um, oh, was completely it? submerged in water oh, okay. when we went last time. Now we can see it. 
So all looks well. Yep. At least she's still here and still tied up, so that's a good thing. The ropes are a bit slack. Oh, they seem to have been um, food on. Well, you can see, you can see how much it's dropped. Look at, look how slack the rope is. Yeah, in I a know. Few days. Oh yeah, you can see the rope is yeah, um, completely dropped. I think we've got some cleaning to do. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. It's filthy. Yeah. That looks well though. So, yeah, home again. Always nice to go and see friends, but it's always nice to get back to the boat. So, yeah, excellent. Good. Onwards. Okay. Let's see how the uh, water has gone down um, across the weir. Remember how it looked before? Look at it now. Well, after those floods, I never thought we'd be leaving this site and going through this lock. And it's a lovely day today. So, uh, yeah, so we thought we'd, uh, we'd get off. Even the ducks are coming to say goodbye. Down in the first lock, all good. So the last time we walked this footpath, it was absolutely flooded. Uh, we were hopping around pools and the river had come up, I bet it's about two foot, just looking at where it is now. We couldn't have dreamt of bringing Border Riva down here, not in the slightest. Yeah, the, the river was coming up over the bank. And look at it now, it's all serene. How amazing it is, what a few days makes. I'm just saying what a difference a few days makes, how serene it is. Yeah, it's really, really um, come down the water levels. It's um, the world apart now, it looks a lot better. We'd like to thank everyone who bought us a coffee this week. Your support means a huge amount to us. For anyone who'd like to continue to support our channel, please follow the Buy Me A Coffee link in our video description or use the on-screen QR code. Thank you. we are, the next lock. That wasn't far at all, was it? And hopefully, Michael will appear from around the corner. Yeah, I can't get over how the water's dropped. morning it's quiet and calm on the canal we've got the weir on that side of us there which you can just hear um, nice nice night so Michael's just gone down to set the lock um, and we're I think we're ready for off yeah so we're uh, leaving Cossington today and heading towards Loughborough the locks all ready oh locks all set yeah it was already open well the, the levels were right so yeah all good perfect off we go. Do you want to push off at the front? I'm fine, thank you. 
Right, let's see what today brings. Ah, you've got a branch right round. I think I can get it. I rescued it. I got it. You've got a branch all the way around the boat. <laughs> Captain's looking as cool as ever. That was interesting. <laughs> so I saw a boat coming towards me with balloons out, which usually means it's a we're day boat, we've just gone around the a corner. party boat. Obviously, it's supposed to pass port to port, and it was all over the place. I couldn't see which side they were going to go, and then then they came for the um, starboard to starboard approach. But with the balloons and a small boat, you get to realise that it's um, a party boat, a day boat. People enjoying themselves. It's absolutely fine. You just have to make sure you make allowances for it. So I sort of tried to second guess where they were going and um, I was going to say you need to pass port support and she came past before I could get my words out she went <laughs> So I didn't bother, anyway it's all good and uh, chaps just said as we passed the boat just be careful they hire them from down here there'll be loads more something to look forward to <laughs> Third lock of the day um, I've just been um, approached, just been approached by the um, one of the owners of the hire boat company. You know, we passed the one with all the balloons um, earlier. Yeah. Well, apparently it's a boat in front of us, and they're just slightly worried that the lads might be um, a little bit raucous. So he's given me the phone number of the company to ring him if there's any problems and they cause any havoc, chaos, or damage anywhere. That doesn't start a good omen, that is it. Anyway, we'll see what we can see. We might catch them up. They've gone through the lock in front of us and they didn't wait for us, um, which is bad form, but actually, in hindsight, I think it's a, I think that's okay. So we'll see what happens. I need to breathe the captain now. Michael's taking shelter underneath a very blue tree. It's very picturesque. It's been lovely on a sunny day. people doing the Duke of Edinburgh award here and it's the gold one and they're doing canoeing, camping and walking. We had a nice chat with them yesterday but it wasn't raining yesterday so they're probably in better spirits. Keep going, well done! They weren't looking too happy. <laughs> no, they probably got another night under canvas that's why going past the um, pretty little village of Mount Sorrel. It's lovely, we were saying that the houses look quite Dutch in their architecture. The ones on the left especially with yeah, the top <gasps> We've got a pink flamingo coming up with um, bright orange umbrellas so we're not definitely not going to miss it. No idea where they're going and how we're going to pass them. Plastic versus uh, steel, not a great idea. Really pretty this. Really pretty, even in the rain. Quite, uh, quite tranquil. What's the name? Oh, thank you. Um, Scottish motor racing team. That is absolutely sunk. Oops on it. 
try and mind hold you that yeah, try and hold it in. Oh yeah. Michael's just said maybe that's where the last one that was sunken started off. In a garden. Yeah. That's a safer place for it. It probably is a lot safer, yeah. Absolutely throwing it down now. So I think we've got about another hour to go. Maybe a couple of miles and a couple of locks and then we're gonna stop for the day. You'll notice here that we've got a green traffic light as well. You can just see over where Michael is there and that tells us that the navigation is open. So we're obviously dropping down onto uh, a lower section of the River Saw and if it was flooded like it was um, a few days ago then that would be red and we couldn't pass through. Um, but it's actually open and okay at the moment. So Michael getting rather wet. I have asked him if he wants his waterproof trousers on and he said not. So I'm just going to wait for the lock to fill and then we're going to go in. If you can hear me, this is Barrow Deep Lock. It's nine foot seven deep. What's happening? Um, we're moving. Um, Why? I just don't think it's safe. So we. Oh really? Yeah, we have stopped in Loughborough, and um, the place that we stopped, uh, we looked on the map, and it looked all right. But there's a lot of nefarious activity going on um, that was on the other side of the canal, which um, you sometimes see in city centres, but or town centres. But it's just uh, you've got to be really safe about where you're more, and um, yeah, it's just not safe here. So. Uh, we'll move on a bit. I've looked on Google Maps and it gives us a bit of a clue that it's a little bit, um, looks like it's a little bit better further on. So I think we'll just, um, we'll just move on a bit. Right, well, go with your judgement. Yeah. Definitely. I think it's just the safer thing to do. I don't think we want to be here. Let's just, let's okay. just get out of here. All right then, okay. So, so this is one of those occasions where I've just got to I've just got to trust Michael's judgment, um, and he'll be he'll be completely right. Um, yeah, we just need to move on um, and find somewhere else to moor um, around the other side of Loughborough. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, he's head of security for a particular reason, and this is one of those occasions definitely yeah absolutely one of the things is you've got to be safe you've got to feel safe and comfortable where you're more um, so Michael's walking ahead and he'll have a look and just get the vibe of places and sometimes you think well you're just being a bit over cautious and maybe we are but maybe we're not and I think um, in this instance it's absolutely the right thing to do yeah, absolutely the right thing to do there are a few other moorings in Loughborough, um, so we'll just make the right decision, I think. Jack, just come down here, will you? I found a safer place, it looks like. Um, there's some houses and things here. There are other boats, it's a lot safer than where we were. Just come down here, I think we'll be safe down here. Right, understood. So, the good news is, Michael's just walked on ahead and he's found somewhere with other boats for us to moor. Yeah, I trust his judgement and he'll have found somewhere that's a little bit more secure. Um, yeah, I think we're all right here. Is that better? Yeah, there's other boats here. Um, oh, you're, so you're drowned, you got wet then. No, it's all right. It's always better to moor where there's other boats. So, um, yeah, I think we're all right here. It's a relief. Um, just as we were leaving, one of the ne'er-do-wells on the, um, you might not have seen it, Jack, but one of the people who were doing nefarious activities. Yeah. shouted across at me and he said get out of here oh yeah so, oh, I didn't see that okay so well in not as many not as much language not that language but basically oh, okay um, and I should have said to him you don't need to bother we are so we're all right here we're safe but it just shows you you've got to be got to make sure you're safe um, yeah yeah it's yeah. the main thing so. good 
so what we're having for dinner this evening? Chicken tandoori, your favourite. <laughs> oh, has it got all the trimmings with it? Got everything to go with it, yeah, hopefully. Have you? We'll see. So I've just been marinating some chicken um, for 24 hours in some yogurt and some Indian spices. So we're just going to get those in the oven. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, it really helps us. All the good times just begun.